Hello everyone. In this basic tutorial on Substance Painter 2019 we will see how to change the background image of the virtual universe, also observing how the different images affect the preview of the material, and how to change the direction of the lighting, which comes from such images, within the scene. Among other things, we will also see how to import a texture, and, in general, an external resource, into a project, with the possibility of making it a standard resource of our shelf, so it will be available in the next Substance sessions. In the tutorial I'm going to use a 3D model, which I will equip with metallic material. The reason will become clear to you very soon, and an HDR background image. In the description of the video you will find the link to the zip package containing both the FBX file of the model, to be imported into a new Substance project, and the image file, in HDR format. However, as with the other tutorials in my Substance Painter playlist, it is not necessary to get this resource. You can watch the tutorial and learn without recreating what you saw with this particular model. Well, that being said, let's get started. I created a new Substance project and set the PBR Metallic Roughness Algorithmic Template as the template I chose to use. The other settings are the default ones. The model is actually composed of two objects, each with its own material, as we can see by looking at the texture set list, where we find base and moving part. First of all, in both materials I remove the layer available by default, selecting it and clicking on the trash can icon in layers. Then, I add a fill layer for the base material, by clicking on the add a fill layer icon. I set the fill layer in this way, in its properties fill tab, pure white color, roughness to 0 and metallic to 1.0. It is, therefore, a completely reflective material, a perfect mirror, as can be seen by examining it in material mode in the 3D window. I decided to set up such a material because it obviously allows us to better appreciate the effects of the background image of the virtual universe. With this fill layer selected in layers, I press Ctrl C to copy it, then I select the texture set, moving part, and, with the mouse cursor in, layers, I press the Ctrl V shortcut, in order to paste the same layer also in this material. The object reflects, as we have seen, the background image. But what is this image? How can we change it? How can we change its orientation, to see the different shading effects on the surfaces of the object, and how can we view it in the background of the 3D view? The answers to these questions can be found in the Display Settings tab, which you can activate, if it is not already available, from the Window, Views, Display Settings menu. First of all, we increase the value of the Environment Opacity parameter, in order to display the background image. We note that the image will appear blurry. This is a default setting of Substance Painter applied to avoid that the image can distract us too much from the object to be texturized. You can make the background more or less blurry by acting on the environment blur parameter. To change the orientation of the background image, keeping the object still, so as to evaluate various lighting effects on a point of the surface, you can change the environment rotation parameter. However I strongly recommend that you learn the default shortcut of substance, that is, shift and right click and drag, while the the mouse cursor is in the 3D view of course, so that you can rotate the background on the fly while you work without having to open the display settings tab. We can change the background image, used to lit the scene, by clicking on the button next to the environment map, label. Substance Painter provides some HDR images, either in HDR or EXR format, which are images with a wide dynamic range. My advice is to use a neutral image, that is, a bright image, not too veered towards a color or a shade, so as not to color your models for specific lighting. As an example, when I want to use an image with various shades of color, I generally use glazed patio, supplied as standard with substance but I do not display it, in the virtual background, i.e. bringing environment opacity to 0.0, in order to focus on the object, without distractions. 
When I want to use an image without colors, which simulates a photographic set lighting, I use an HDR image that I made myself and which is available in the zip package mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial. So, let's see how to load a custom background image into a substance project, and, in general, how to load external resources, such as textures, alpha opacity maps, and more. Let's open the file menu and click on the Import Resources item. In the window that will appear, click on the Add Resources button, then choose the file, or files, in case of multiple selection, that we want to import from the disk. In my case, this is the HDR file I want to use. The file will be listed in the Import Resources window and we notice that, next to it, there is a box with the undefined label. Click on this box and choose, from the menu that will appear on the screen, the item that best identifies the resource we want to import. Environment, not texture. Because the resource must be used as a texture for the environment, not to be applied to a material. Let's now click on the menu next to, import your resources to, at the bottom of the window, to choose how to import the resource, that is. For the current session only, so we will not find it in the program later, even if the project is saved. For the current project, which of course you will have to save to disk. In this way, the resource will be stored into the project file, which will therefore increase in size, but at least you will have the possibility to recover the resource also in the future. Permanently in the program shelf, Substance will then make a copy of the resource in its working folder and will also make it available for the next program sessions, regardless of the project in use. I suggest you not to use the first option, current session, better save the resources at least with the project, for the future sessions. The project option is intuitively suitable for the specific resources of a project, such as a particular mask or texture while it is not suitable for generic resources, which we could use routinely in various projects, for which it makes more sense to use the shelf option instead. Regarding this particular case, we choose shelf, in order to find this resource in any next substance launch, regardless of the project, as it is not a specific resource of a project, such as a logo or an opacity mask for a particular object, but of a generic resource that we intend to use on several occasions. Finally we import the resource by clicking on import. According to the type of resource specified in import resources, the object will be inserted by substance in a special folder of the shelf window, and in fact we find our HDR image among others in environments. To use the image as the background of the scene, click on environment map in display settings and choose the image from the list. Well, for this short but I hope, useful video tutorial, that's all. As usual, I invite you to express any doubts, questions or requests in the comments to the video, on YouTube.